in this video we will learn the basic of fuel cell and its applications let us see what is fuel cell fuel cell actually it is a energy conversion device so what type of energy is converting here here chemical energy is converting into electric energy that means a system or a device that converts the chemical energy of a fuel to electrical energy is called the fuel cell that means in a fuel cell there is producing electric energy and heat energy from chemical energy if we compare the fuel cell with a thermal power plant or heat engine you will see from this diagram we can see that in a thermal power plant the chemical energy is initially converts into thermal energy then mechanical energy and finally electric energy so for the thermal power plant there is two intermediate steps which are thermal energy and mechanical energy for the fuel cell case you see here the chemical energy is directly converts into the electric energy so for the fuel cell case there is no any intermediate step so from this you can guess that there is less loss of energy due to the conversion because from this diagram you see you can easily guess that for for the thermal power plant there is two intermediate steps so due to two intermediate conversions energy will be lost due to the conversion but for the fuel cell the chemical energy directly converts the electric energy so due to the conversion effect the loss is minimum if we compare the fuel cell with battery we will see that here you can see that to the left I have given battery and to the right there is fuel cell so both the cases I mean for battery and fuel cell both generate power electrochemically that means both generate electricity from the chemical energy for the battery electrodes are the working materials for the fuel cell gases are the working materials to understand this issue I want to say that for a battery you see to the left above there is a battery and to the right there is a fuel cell so in a battery there is three main components electrodes and electrodes are two anode cathode and electrolyte is the separator in the middle so there are three components anode electrolyte and cathode and for the fuel cell there are also three main components these are also anode electrolyte in the middle and to the right cathode here electrodes are the working material that means here this anode and cathode will be consumed this will be decay but here this anode and cathode will not are not the working materials so this will not get consumed that means only here 
I want to say that gases are the working material. So gases, which gases? This one is fuel gas, another is reduction gas. For a fuel cell, the fuel gas is hydrogen and reduction gas here the reduction gas is oxygen. So in fuel cell hydrogen and oxygen will be consumed okay you can see to the third row that electrodes get consumed that means i already told this that electrodes get consumed that means anode and cathode get consumed here electrodes do do not get consumed here only the gases fuel gas and reduction gas will be consumed okay this is limited operation that means it has limited lifetime but this is highly durable because it continue to operate as long as fuel gas is supplied the component materials means the anode electrolyte and cathode materials are good this will be highly durable that means it will operate as long as fuel gas is supplied if you supply it fuel for long years it will run long years or long time the battery actually it is a storage device and it is a conversion device what is storage device if we think the storage device you know lithium you think for our mobile battery or laptop battery you know this for this battery we have to charge it that means these are storage device so after a time you will see that will not run and you have to change the battery but for fuel cell this is a conversion device and it only convert chemical energy to the electric energy not any storage device that means the fuel cell never store any charge and you have not to charge it okay applications of fuel cell so where we can apply fuel cell you see this can be applied in stationary power generation what is stationary power generation you know this can be or as for example primary power units and uninterruptible power systems which we called UPS and in portable power generation we can use it in portable portable system or devices such as stores mobile phone camera tap laptop and so on and we can also use it for transportation or mobile application where which are the example you know this can be bus truck small boat ferry car van two or three wheeler vehicles and so on you know maybe you know that some advanced or developed country are using this fuel cell to run buses and train so you can understand if bus can run they can also use fuel cell for truck car van etc okay these are the images of applications you see to the left side above portable case here military people are using fuel cell for remote reason because you know that many areas you have to carry some devices okay in this case you can use fuel cell stationary this means household cases or industry also okay and this you see transportation here buses bus is using fuel cell 
so you already see that it can be possible to use in portable stationary and transportation and if you want to use it in transportation you have to develop infrastructure like our CNG station or diesel station you have to develop hydrogen fuel infrastructure also that means you can take hydrogen from the plant that means or fuel station I want to say this is fuel station okay which the diesel station or CNG station we can take diesel CNG okay here you can you have to make fuel infrastructure for hydrogen also okay this is specially different and sophisticated it is not similar as the diesel or CNG pump or station it is specially different and highly sophisticated okay capacity of stationary fuel cell so what type of the capacity of stationary fuel cell or how much power we can produce in the stationary case from the fuel cell there are different categories categories micro scale small scale medium scale and the large scale micro scale micro scale these are normal the this the capacity of micro cell micro scale is normally 1 to 10 kilowatt this scale is typically for residential utilization you know for residence we don't need more power so for residential issue we can use this micro scale and small scale the capacity limit is here from 10 kilowatt to 1 megawatt this scale is typically for hospital supermarket and so on you know for hospital and supermarket there are different type of devices and these are higher than the a flat or a house so you need high power for this case you can use this scale okay or this type medium scale the capacity is higher than the, this one and you see the range ranges of this is 1 to 10 megawatt this scale is for this scale is typically for industrial sites that means you have a small industry so industry always using different machineries so then it's high power than the hospital supermarket or residence residence okay so you can also produce fuel cell who can give which sorry which can gives 1 to 10 megawatt or similar like this okay and large scale this capacity is more than 10 megawatt it is typically for large industry think you have large industry okay so large industry means there are huge machineries so you need more power or more electricity in this case you have to use large scale and if your requirement is high you have to use more fuel cell and produce more power or get more electricity okay types of fuel cell there are different types of fuel cell you know these are polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell or simply called PEMC or shortly it is called PEMFC molten carbonate fuel cell MCFC solid acid fuel cell phosphoric acid fuel cell alkaline fuel cell solid oxide fuel cell let us see it is a fuel cell it is a typical image of a fuel cell you see to the left above it shows anode the middle one is electrolyte and this is cathode okay here this color 
in this direction it shows product residue in this direction okay to, to the left direction product residue and this direction to the right direction fuel here also product residue this direction in this side product residue and in this side to the lower side air to the left side air so you can see from here that for a AFC alkaline fuel cell AFC means alkaline fuel cell and for this fuel cell the operating temperature or the operation temperature of this type of fuel cell is 70 degrees centigrade you see hydrogen is the fuel and water is the product residue okay so in this case electrolyte is conducting hydroxide ion okay if you see all of this you will see most of the cases hydrogen is the fuel here hydrogen is fuel pmfc hydrogen is fuel here hydrogen here mcfc hydrogen and sofc also hydrogen so for all the fuel cells you can use hydrogen as fuel but the different is operating temperature and the electrolyte you see for pmfc the operating temperature is 80 degree centigrade it is also low temperature but the electrolyte is conducting hydrogen here dmfc also operating temperature 80 degree centigrade and the hydrogen is conducted to the electrolyte but here the difference is the difference between pmfc and dmfc i want to tell that here hydrogen is using as the fuel here methanol is using as the fuel and for pfc this is slightly higher operating temperature you see this the operating temperature of this type of fuel cell is 200 degree centigrade for mcfc molten carbonate fuel cell this is more higher you see this is 650 degree centigrade so these are called intermediate temperature fuel cell here hydrogen also fuel and the pro product is water and carbon dioxide solid oxide fuel cell high temperature and also intermediate temperature because the temperature ranges from 500 degree to 700 degree 50 is considering or considered as intermediate temperature but more than 750 or 800 degree centigrade it is called high temperature fuel cell so SOFC can be intermediate temperature and high temperature okay in this case you see the hydrogen is the fuel and water and carbon dioxide is the residue product or byproduct okay so all of the fuel cell you see most of the cases water is producing and if they are producing carbon dioxide this is very small amount and no other any toxic gas so these are environment friendly now i want to show you a video to understand this clearly now you will see the video so it is a full cell from this video you can understand what is happening inside a full cell
I think you can understand the 